All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And Shalom taught the Akim out there preaching his word in truth and sincerity. This is the Brother Shamar coming back with another lesson. And it's, it's going to be, uh, you know, a little brief, you know, just straight to the point. Yet, uh, the lesson is going to be on how you, you got all these different guys out here, you know, the ISUPK and, you know, how they uh, and the other groups, whatever, you know, different Israelite groups that they're teaching the wrong doctrine, you know, and scriptures told us about these things of having to watch out, you know, their wolves in um, sheep's clothing, you know, trying to come come humble, act like they, they sincerely care about our people and teaching the knowledge this and that. Yet the whole time they're perverting the knowledge and not teaching 100 percent truth, you know, they're holding back on certain things that's part of the doctrine and not and not telling you about it you know here it is we're in the last days and prophecies are popping off and it's so many different things to to go into to edify our people yet they go into all type of other things that have literally nothing to do with the times that we're in right now all right and that just shows you what spirit they're in to be talking about those things all right and the reason they do these things is just to do what, you know, to for for vainglory or, you know, try to make themselves look deep. And the whole time they're just making themselves, you know, not look too smart, you know. Breaking down the scriptures wrong and not teaching the scriptures accurately. And then that's why uh, these groups, these different guys that, that are apostles and different elder brothers to get on, that's why they get mad at us because we... We bring out the fact that they're going off so what you know the script like i said the scriptures told us that these things will happen in the last days and and the, and the fact that these things is happening now again you know bringing up old things that's been discussed old topics and, and issues the fact that they're like you know this spirit is coming back heavy now is just showing you the times that we're in you know further proving that we are really in the last days man along with all the other signs that Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai continues to show us as this year has already started all right so the first scripture I wanted to get is Matthews 24 and I'm gonna jump straight to the point in verse 11 and it says and many false prophets shall ar ar shall rise and shall deceive many and that's exactly what you have going on all right these dudes they're not they're not real prophets of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Why? Because they're deceiving many, all right? They're false prophets because they're not telling you the truth, all right? A true prophet is going to tell you everything and not hold back anything, man. He's not going to tell you any lies. He's going to tell you exactly how it is, which is how, you know, Great Millstone does it. Telling you the 100% truth, not holding back. We don't, we don't spare your feelings or anything. Hey, if it's in the scriptures, it's in the scriptures. That's how we operate, you know? However it may sound to you, that's that's on you if you be offended at it. Yet what what we say, we're coming strictly from the scriptures with it. We're not forming our own opinion or making up anything. All right. We don't have our own special interpretation of nothing. Everything that we speak on is, is um, strictly from the scriptures. It's not based on our own opinion, all right? It's strictly from the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And you have these other guys, like I said, you deceiving many. All right, saying all manners manner of stuff that's that's not accurate man just totally going off and then being proud about it you know they don't they, they're not going to uh accept or take heed to any reproof or rebuke no they, they're going to keep on doing what they're doing why because they want to be looked at as like they're on a level they're deep you know because when these these dudes do that what do they do they always point out how we don't got it or how the apostles and elders are going off in the doctrine and this and that all right and it's all just for vain glory man you know these dudes over here um, just doing all type of stuff that, you know, a real man of the Lord wouldn't really do, man. Just, you know, just putting it simple. All right. Real man of the Lord, you're just about teaching this word, man. And teaching this word accurately. All right. As, as best as possible. All right. A real man of the Lord, you can admit your faults. You're not you're not proud, too proud to admit when you go off on something. You got brothers when they, they, they go off on things. They What do they do? They go back and then do say what you know salakia correct it come out with a video correcting it or whatever and then you know hey they'll let you know that that was off at the point whatever but these guys they're not like that man they're not trying to accept um, reproof or rebuke we're telling them like hey man you need to stop teaching that you're going off on the doctrine you're deceiving our people 
all right you literally telling them things that are not accurate and then you're that's causing confusion all right and matter of fact that's um, i'm gonna get that scripture because that's that, these guys are that's exactly what they're doing it's causing confusion all right and then these other people ask us why can't we all get together this and that this is exactly why we can't be together all right scriptures tell you can two walk together at least they be agreed and we if we can't agree on the doctrine all right if we ain't agreeing on the doctrine we're not we're not coming together man all right we're not like these other groups who will all meet up and have the basak all together and, and here it is everybody has a different belief or whatever and they still coming together that's not how it works man we can't be together if we we're not together on the doctrine you know we don't agree on the doctrine we're not all together then man we're separate because our minds are separate we have separate beliefs all right now this is um romans chapter 16 and verse 17 it says now i beseech you brethren mark them which cause divisions and offenses contrary to the doctrine which you have learned and avoid them and is and that's exactly what you have the apostles and elder brothers on down doing all right they're they're marking them they're letting you letting it be known like hey these guys are going off man all right we don't have to call you any names like the apostles said we don't have to call you out on your name or anything like that because it's not about that it's about the fact that you're not teaching the truth all right that's what matters all right these guys are not t um, teaching the actual the true true words of yahweh shim yahweh shai they're not in the spirit all right they're they're leading our people astray man and they're going to be held accountable for those um their actions if they don't repent and and uh take heed to the words and counsel that the apostles and elder brothers on down have been giving them man and i you know me i highly doubt they they do take heed to it because they've been doing what they want to do for the longest you know yet it says to do what man it says to mark them which cause divisions and offenses contrary to the doctrine and everything that they've been teaching is contrary to the to the doctrine and causing divisions man you telling people one thing and we saying another thing and then you know they they now everybody's confused and as far as like a, a new person that's just coming in if they looking at gms videos and isubk videos and you know iuic videos like everybody's saying different things and now there is nothing but confusion yet they um these 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 dudes want to always be coming together for for uh Pesach or whatever but then y'all can't agree on the doctrine all right, so this is causing nothing but confusion for our people, man. And the scriptures say to mark them. And that's exactly what you got brothers from the apostles on down and doing, man. All right. Marking these guys because these guys are going off, man. And the scriptures tell you to do so, man. You know, you ain't supposed to just let, let it be, happen like it is what it is because it's, it's not, you know, it's not cool. We have to let it be known like, no, this isn't the way it's supposed to be taught a different way. You're supposed to be going into, um, you're supposed to be, you're supposed to be teaching the truth, man, and, you, and that's exactly what they're not doing, all right? They're not telling our people the truth. They're, they're, they're telling them lies, man, leading them astray. And then they get mad at us for correcting them on the fact that they're going off, man, and that's exactly what two-thirds of our people, um, that's why they don't take heed to, to the word, because they hate being corrected. All right, our people are proud and don't want to be humble and take heed, man, to what's being said to them. All right, yeah, like I said, that's why you see that for, um, the apostles on down, brothers making videos, get, marking these guys, getting on them, man, for going off on the doctrine, teaching the wrong, teaching the wrong thing to our people. All right, and the last scripture I want to get real quick, it's called. This is um Yeah, this is in First Corinthians one and eleven be ye followers of me even also as, even as I also am of Yahweh Shai. So that's what you're supposed to do, man. You're supposed to follow a man that's sincerely following after Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. And you how do you know that? You gotta try to try the spirit by the spirit, man. Alright? See what they're really about. If they're really about Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, and a lot of these guys they not, man. They're doing they're doing works and things that are contrary to the to the real spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. All right. You're supposed to be a follower of a man that's following after Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, not a not a following a man that's just 
just doing his own thing, man. All right. And that's just what it comes down to, man. These dudes want to just do their own thing. That's why they're that's why they don't agree with us. They they have to disagree because they just just out of just out of pride, envy and strife, man. All right. Yet it is what it is, man. Like the scriptures say, um, if this if this council does work, don't be of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, it's gonna to come to naught, man. And that's exactly what's gonna happen at the end of the day, man. All right, all these other groups that's that's talking nonsense, teaching, um, deceiving our people. Here it is, we in the last days. They not you should be focused on going into prophecies, man. You shouldn't be focused on going in on uh dealing with young women or going into you know other things not related to salvation ultimately, man. All right, because the times that we're in, man, it's just, it's the times where things are popping off, man. So you're supposed to be telling our people of things that's going down and how to be delivered from that, man. Not just be focused on any other the other other like all random stuff, man. All right. It's not related to salvation. All right. Hey, so with that, you know, I'm gonna wrap up and give all praises again to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakakwadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of great millstone and shalom to occupy their preaching's word, truth, sincerity. Shalom.